All right, as you know, I hurt my thumb yesterday. So here's what it looks like. And this is what went through it, an X-Acto knife. This X-Acto knife went through my entire thumb to the other side, okay? It went through sideways like this, and it went in that hole. Doesn't look like much, but it's pretty deep. And I had to pull it out. When I pulled it out, it was perfectile blood. But anyway, the after effects is, is that it's affecting my whole hand and my wrist. And I touch here, I can feel all my nerves in my hand here, much pain in my fingers. I can bend my fingers, but my fingers are numb and they hurt really bad. And I can't grab or pull anything. And the one thing that's bothering me is that I cannot bend my thumb by itself. It will not bend at all. And it hurts really bad. Thank God I can still bend this. But I have to go like this with my hand and I have to bend it like that. It cannot bend on its own. No matter what I do, see the strength right here? I'm trying to bend it like this. It won't bend. So I have to go like this. So maybe if I exercise it throughout the couple months, hopefully it'll heal faster than that. I can bend it, but it will not bend in my... It's stuck like this. It's just stuck in the air like that. I can't bend it at all. But thank God I can still move it. So what happened, I looked it up. I hit a nerve in there and it sliced it in half. And that nerve is connected to your hand down here on all your fingers. It's uh, one or two nerves and they're connected. And that's the exact spot where the nerve is inside, like a little bit inside right here. And when it slid it in half, it cut it in half and it destroyed my thumb. So now my thumb is paralyzed, literally paralyzed. Because I, why well, I say paralyzed? Because I can't bend it by itself. Now, if I take my other hand, I can bend it. So anyway, I just want to give you guys an update on... Uh, my thumb and had a little bit of bleeding since last night. So I'm changing the band-aid. I'm using peroxide and I'm using Neosporin to heal it up and a huge band-aid to put on it. So that's the best I can do and just walk around like this. It won't bend, it won't do anything. Once again, I have to bend it like this because it won't bend by itself. No matter what strength I use, it will not bend. Anyway, just an update. So to all you people out there, be careful using X-Acto knives. They are very, fucking dangerous this is the second time i've done this if you can see this little scar right here i put this exact same exact knife through my bone right there had to go to the hospital and get stitches and then when it was healed i put tattoos on it i tattooed it so i remember where it was at like i'll ever forget but anyway peace out people be safe caution when using these they're very dangerous and do not let them around children okay peace out